we noticed, um, I would say about eight, nine years ago, that uh, some of our clients were coming to us looking for um, the ability to store and manage structured uh, structure products, OTCs. Um, and this was now becoming something that was considered to be a security. And our initial thought was that it would be the sell side and the brokerage community that would be interested in that, but it was actually the buy side who were managing OTCs themselves and needing to value them and store them in their security master database. So we built out models for those, for structured products, for swap options, you know, swaps, those kinds of things. We had clients on the buy side modeling securities or modeling OTCs as securities, but the sell side weren't there. And, and we learned that they were storing these securities in their trading systems. So it was in the front office trading systems and risk systems. And they were being stored there as transactions, contracts, deals, positions, but not as securities. Now, securities themselves that are structured need to be stored in the security master file, which is exploding volumes, which goes up now probably to 20, 30 million and, and almost certainly higher than that um, in the near future. Um, and also, it, it changes the, the nature of the, of the type of data that you manage in your security master because you have to link the OTC security to its underlying securities. So interest rate swap has underlying fixed income instruments in there. So this, uh, this linkage across the OTC world into the, uh, the listed or cash security world is an important factor in storing OTCs as securities themselves. And then they need to be valued um, and treated you know, with ISINs and identifiers just like other securities. So finally, regulation has driven the sell side to, to look at OTCs as securities and, and store them in a master file like cash securities. Um, the other side of, of MIFID that's driven OTCs is what's called product stamping, which is at the point the trade is made, understanding what type of product that is, what kind of icing it needs to have, and it has to be recognized based on the characteristics of the trade and stamp it as a, as a type of product, which again is a security as well. It's a structured product. So product stamping is, is something that's part of the MIFID 2 flow, and we're seeing that as part of the product control workflow. Uh, as an emerging requirement.